Hey all, Heber here. So uh, if you ever need a Kraken in this game for some sort of like challenge or something, then uh, don't forget to subscribe because I'll tell you which ship I think you should use. And uh, it's this ship here, the tier 5 Hyoga. And uh, you can get the usual premium Hyoga. And uh, some people also bought the special Hyoga W, the winter version. Uh, but it's the same ship, no difference at all. But uh, this ship is phenomenal at tier 5. It's like on the doubt the best battleship at tier 5 probably actually in the game if you ask me because it's just super accurate it's got an abundance of guns uh, you can see it has six turrets with two guns in each turret equal 12 guns and uh, if that's not enough you get a uh, spotter plane as well and the <laughs> the reload boost so uh this thing here can really pump out some damage and uh Especially down at tier 5, where, you know, sometimes, well, most of the time, sometimes, most of the time, whatever, you meet players who probably aren't as uh, familiar with the game. Uh, so if someone shows broadside to you in this ship here, like, that is pretty much a guaranteed trip back to port. Um, so, uh, buy it if you want Krakens. Uh, it's the easiest ship to get Krakens in, if you ask me. So uh, in this battle here, a fair few uh, surprising surprising things happen, uh, which I said, well, that happens at tier 5, so that's just part of the game, you just gotta accept it. It's because here's a battleship, and uh, he wants to get into the cap. I don't know why he wants to get into the cap, because there's an Okotnik in there, um, and that's bad for a big, fat uh, New Mexico battleship, or whoever it is. Um, why would you <laughs> why would you do that and uh, in the process he's dragging me with him and uh this video was shot back when um there's a bug in the game uh when uh, so like ships are a lot more stickier than they really should be and uh it's it really was a, it, it well it still is a huge problem because the bug is still in the game but wargaming is working on it um so uh hopefully yeah that'll work out so uh, I don't know what this New Mexico here is saying but because uh, I have my uh, speaker off I don't want to hear anyone talk in this game here because it's already bad enough so uh, <laughs> I don't know what is going on here but uh, I'm having a good time I mean I'm just stuck to this guy but I'm on the easy side I mean he's gonna take every single torpedo and uh, I can just sit here and laugh Except I'm not really laughing because I want to kill this Okotnik here, but every time I fire, my shells hit the New Mexico before the destroyer, so I can't actually do any damage to it. So somehow I have to disengage myself from this uh, ridiculous battleship here. And uh, th there's a lesson for you, New Mexico man. I mean, if you don't look where you're going, uh, or, you know, you hit into the game without a plan, then you will get punished. And punished badly. <laughs> So uh, he continues into the the cap, fine. I have no problems with that. Now I can finally shoot at this uh, destroyer here and uh, just trying to turn so uh, I don't get... I want to be the least attractive target there. I want him to go for the New Mexico. So I'm just showing my stern and he's like, oh, that's not really a good target. I'll go for, I'll go for the potato instead. You know, who went straight into the cap right off the bat without any sort of plan and nearly took me with him to you know the murky depths so uh thank you for that and uh, then we'll finish this uh Ukotnik here off i don't know why he's moving in so so close but like i said this is tier five and you just have to accept these like kind of quirky plays here so uh, this was a terrible start to the game if i've ever seen one it was like a horrible start uh, <laughs> like we did get a destroyer uh, out of the game, but uh, that was mostly just because he was uh, a tad too aggressive there. Um, and uh, he was lucky that, that New Mexico was in the way as well, so otherwise I would have finished him off a lot earlier. Um, so uh, yeah, well played New Mexico. That was that was great. I've actually noticed that quite a bit lately, even at tier 7 and legendary tier. Like, people get in the game, they just, you know, start their ship and go straight ahead and they don't look at all where they're going or if someone else is in the way and you know like the unwritten rule of the sea actually it's a written rule uh, on the real sea but in you know legends it's an unwritten rule that you know 
the smaller ship gives way to the bigger ship. Obviously. Um, <laughs> I know when it's two battleships, yeah, well, it's another it's another meta, but uh, then you'll just have to think a little bit when you're moving in. Um, you know, could that Hyoga possibly decide to reverse uh, now that he's facing a destroyer in the cap? There's a very, you know, big likelihood of that happening. So perhaps I should prepare for that. Now, I normally, you know, friendly collisions, they aren't really that much of a problem. It's just a little bump and, uh, you know, off you go. But with this buck, like, in the game at the moment, it's actually a huge problem. Uh, because sometimes ships just get stuck together forever. And then uh, until both players, you know, lose all their momentum and stop their engines, reverse or whatever they have to do. And here's another destroyer player, there's a questionable play. Um, then there's nothing you can do. And, uh, well, uh, you just got to live with it. So I don't know why this guy isn't firing torpedoes. And I, I have, like, all the time in the world to turn my ship and waste him with my rear guns. And maybe he's out of torpedoes, I don't know. But why would you then enter the cap? Um, but, like I said, this is tier 5. And as you can see, we're down to 2 versus 5. And uh, that's also very typical of this tier here. So you just have to accept that. So, uh, on the other hand, we've got most of the, uh, like teammates out of the game now so we can actually you know sail around without worrying uh, of getting you know torpedoed or uh, I don't know whatever they could think about doing <laughs> but uh, one good thing Hyaga it's really really tough so uh, when you have these games here where you are like the last slip ship or the, like in the last top three of, of ships uh, and you have like one maybe two kills uh, it's a good time to uh, look for Krakens uh, because, you know, this thing hits really hard and uh, most ships already have taken a little bit of damage at that point in the battle. And uh, as you can see, you can just absolutely whoop these uh, battleships here. This guy is even angled, not angled as much as he should be. I mean, he's shooting HE. So <laughs> again, something you just have to accept at tier 5. <laughs> um, and, uh, well, 12 guns and... This thing is accurate. It's way more accurate than the uh, Fuso uh, that's available for everyone else at the, as the, in the tech tree. So uh, is this a case of, you know, pay to win? If there's any ship in the game that I'd say is pay to win, this is the one. Um, definitely. And it doesn't look like it's going to get a nerf of any kind. And I'm still like, totally in awe of that. I don't understand because in my personal spreadsheet... This ship here sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, its stats are like better than Yamato. And the survival rate is just like abhorrently high. Way too high, really. Um, I think the kill death radio for me in the ship here is like 5 to 1 or something like that. Like much higher than any of my other ships. And uh, well, it seems like. I don't, I don't know. It seems like I'm just a fluke. Yeah. But everyone else I also talk to, they say like, yeah, it's a, like a crazy ship and like it's super easy. It's easy mode at tier five. And it really is. It really is. Um, and that's why if you want Krakens, I suggest you play this ship here. I do think part of it is that the guns are so accurate and you have so many of them. Uh, that is actually quite easy to uh, take out destroyers even from afar in the ship here. Uh, because if you're broadside, you have 12 shells. And uh, I mean, that should do some damage to even like the naughtiest destroyer. Uh, whereas you play most other uh, battleship, you may get off, you know, six or eight rounds uh, just from the front guns. Um, and that's usually not enough. But uh, 12 shells here with the extra accuracy of this ship here, that's a destroyer killer. And uh, I mean, I know I killed them all at close range here and wasn't really much of a challenge either. But uh, if you watch some of my other Hoyga, uh videos, you'll see that like from 12, 15 kilometers, if you just lead the destroyer enough, uh, you will whack it with uh, the 12 shells. So uh, Hayaga, it's still for sale in the premium shop or in the shop, whatever you want to call it. So uh, I highly suggest that you buy it. If you don't have this ship already, I think it's one of the must haves in the game. Uh, and this one is readily available. You can buy it whenever you want. I mean, the winter version is not available anymore, but it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's the same ship. So uh, I would suggest that 
you buy it. Um, even if you're not much of a battleship player, like sometimes you have to do, you know, battleship uh, missions and stuff like that. And this is a really good pick um, to get them done. Because uh, sometimes you need like 250 hits uh, with battleship shells. Like, what do I know? And, you know, with 12 guns, that uh, that happens fairly quickly. Uh, so you'd only need to play like a few battles and that's it. So uh, from, you know, a Kraken standpoint, high calibers, confederates, all that nonsense, uh, this is probably the easiest ship to get that in. Um, and you will win a lot of battles in the ship as well. Uh, I can't remember the win rate I have in this ship, but it's, it's outrageously high. I believe it would be just above... Uh, just below 80%. At least it was last time I checked, and I haven't really checked in a while, and I've I've played a lot of Hierarchy Battles since then, so it could have changed, but uh, in the end, that's not really what matters. What matters is that this is a powerful ship, and it will it will, uh, it will will treat you well. Uh, let's put it like that. Um, is it a fair ship? No, absolutely not. It's a ship that you buy if you have money, so you will be able to play slightly better in the game. Yep, that's it. That's what this ship is about. Um, and like I said, the tech tree, you don't even waste time on it, thinking that you'll be able to uh, to outdo Hyoga in, uh, in Fuso, because you can't. Like, that thing is so inaccurate, and it's not as tanky, and it's just way, way inferior to this uh, premium tier 5 here. So, uh, yeah, don't even bother. So, uh, we're down to, uh, well, four kills, and uh, we have two and a half minutes left, and... We're not going to be able to win this battle here on points. Uh, there's simply not enough time. And it's unlikely we'll be able to sink both battleships here. So uh, I'm just going to say, okay, I'm going to go for the Kraken and then I'm going to move on. So uh, it looks like both battleships are running away, which, I mean, makes sense. That's what you should do because they've won the bottle, the bottle, the battle. <laughs> so uh, if they stay unspotted, then uh, there's really nothing I can do. I can just sit here and, you know, eh curse <laughs> but uh, the Kavua is too close so uh, I can still spot him myself and uh, I bet he doesn't like that and uh, as you can see he is moving in towards an island so uh, sooner or later like option one he will just hit the island and he will sit there uh, you know with the stern facing me which is what he should do because then I can't citadel him or at least be hard to citadel him or option two he sees the island and he's will, you know initiate a turn and uh, that's what you shouldn't do, because that's exactly what Hayaga is waiting for here. And uh, when you pull a move like that, you are out of the game. Hayaga doesn't kid around. Uh, if you show broadside, uh, you will get a real whooping. And uh, like I said in the beginning, this is tier 5, so broadsides happen a lot down here. Like, like it's uh, like a like prevalent. <laughs> so uh, that's why. Broadsides uh, equals kills, and kills equals krakens, and uh, five kills equals a kraken. So, yeah. Um, here I'm switching to high explosives because I'm thinking, oh, this guy is not going to turn. Uh, he's probably just going to head, you know, towards the horizon. And uh, he actually does decide to turn here, which like is like incredible. I'm like, I'm, he he should have seen what happened to his friend. So if I had AP loaded here. I might have been able to actually pull this win off here. But because I have HE loaded, I can't really uh, wipe this guy off the map in one salvo. It's a bit of a shame. Um, but in any case, uh, I've got my XP, I've got my crack, and I got my damage, I got my kills. And uh, if we lose or if we win, it's really secondary. Um, so uh, he goes behind the mountain, and uh, that's pretty much the end of the game here. But uh, like I said, Hyoga, if you want Krakens, this is your ship. Uh, it's, well, it's not super easy, but it's certainly a lot easier than in any other ship in the game, I think. Uh, perhaps except Kamikaze down at tier 4, but I mean, that's tier 4. That's too low. Um, so that was uh, Hyoga here, Kraken, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you out there.